I always like really minute, sort of small scale detail. I always like the idea of these minute worlds and it's the scale that inspires me. The things that draw your eye in, it can be quite intriguing, then you look further and you see more and you get drawn into a sort of miniature world. I'm always looking for interesting forms and textures and maybe things that are a bit sort of ambiguous as well. I have this inspiration box and it's basically made up of like textures or forms. One of my big influences was uh, found on the beach. They must have poured some like aluminium just onto the sand. It had formed a lump which contained all these tiny little like pebbles and sand and that was kind of the start of the inspiration behind the Incrustations collection and the idea that the metal and the stones look like they've grown together. I'm very much a maker. Um, I do sketch and draw as well and when I'm travelling I'll always go with a sketchbook and sketch down ideas but it's when I get back into the workshop things really come to life. I tend to let the process lead me rather than the initial design. I let the process and the making take me on a journey to kind of where the material wants to be. And often things happen through something spontaneous and sometimes the best things happen through experimentation. It might be the start of a new direction. I think what makes my work individual is working with these traditional materials but in a different way. The idea that I put a lot of love and joy into making and I love what I do, I think people respond well to that. When I've made it, the jewellery isn't about me anymore. The story of the jewellery really begins when it's found its wearer. I love the idea to think that you know, in hundreds of years time, the piece will still exist and whether it's buried in the ground or in someone's jewellery box and it's gathered stories along the way, it's been passed down and given to someone as a token of love and I think that's really special.